Welcome to my little shop of wonders. I am the shopkeeper. Please sit, try one of these cookies. At least I think they're cookies. They might be some kind of mushroom. I don't really understand gnomish cuisine. But you aren't here for cookies. You heard we've just received a delivery of gnomish goods, and you are interested in... a firearm, yes? It wasn't much of a guess. I noticed the dwarven blunderbuss on your back. While firearms are unmatched in their long-range lethality, they do suffer some major drawbacks as well. Finding gunpowder and ammunition can be very difficult. While most races know of the burning stone men call sulfur, very few mine it, and fewer still make charcoal or collect saltpeter. Of course, acquiring gunpowder is only half the problem, as it is very volatile stuff. More than one adventurer has had his career ended by an unfortunately placed fire arrow. Dragon breath, fire elementals, lava monsters, and fire magic are all very good reasons not to travel with too much of the stuff. And then, of course, there are worlds like Oh Earth where gunpowder simply doesn't function, such as the will of the gods. Of course, our clever gnomish friends have found some workarounds. This model has replaced gunpowder with an abyssal ant and some holy water. Not only will these components not explode if ignited, they're actually fire resistant. Abyssal ants need to be kept in a metal keg. These little beasts will chew their way out of anything else. The upside is they can live on virtually any organic material and they reproduce like crazy. Just add a little water and some garbage into the top here. If the keg does get broken open, they can be a real headache to deal with. But if you only let out a few at a time and handle them with gloves, they aren't much worse than some of the nastier jungle ants. They do spit acid, so keep them away from your face. I also sell a bracer here with these little barbed hooks on them. You can place eight ants on the hooks, just be sure to pierce them through the thorax or they will free themselves. The gun can fire eight times off a single flask of holy water. Of course, the trade-off is holy water isn't very cheap, so this gun costs about three gold to fire per shot, and that's not counting the cost of the ammunition. It's a simple device, really. You take one of the ants and you drop it down the barrel. It won't go all the way down on its own, so you need to drop your musket ball in right after it. With the ant pinned behind the musket ball, you simply need to squeeze this bladder and spray it with holy water. Oh no, uh, seems I've broken the evil mirror. Uh, hold on a moment. Hard as it may be to believe, this next gnomish firearm is even stranger. This gun is filled with a finely spun copper wire. A bit of it is exposed here in the handle. One simply places a steel or iron ball in here, and then you cast shocking grasp on the handle, and the ball is away with deadly speed. This gun is strangely quiet. And detect magic reveals no enchantment, but obviously the gnomes have done something to conceal their magic. The gnomish alchemist who fashions these weapons swears they're powered by uh, magma or, or maggots. I, I don't believe him. But uh, here's a gnomish invention I do understand. It's called a shield barrow, and it's very clever. It's a perfectly functional heater shield, but up here at the top and the back are a pair of clamps through which you can stick some green branches or torches or bones or what have you. And the shield barrel also has this wheel which you can attach at the bottom with this pin. And now your shield is a wheelbarrow. If you need to move an injured companion or build earthen fortifications or clear rubble after a cave-in or move bodies after a battle, you'd be amazed at how often adventurers want for a wheelbarrow but understandably don't want to carry one into a dungeon with them. I think this is going to be a big seller if people can just get past the goofy name. Well, you've finished your cookie and... I've finished my sales pitch. Now let's see your gold. Guys, if you like this cartoon and you'd like to watch more of them, go down to my description box or go to my playlist on my channel for cartoons. Mostly this channel has miniature videos, so if you want to just watch the cartoons, you got to do a little work. If you'd like to support this channel, please consider making a donation to the GoFundMe campaign. That's also in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Until next time.